Describing the IPC Strategic Investment Department, the first things that come to mind are their composure and the belief that the cosmos is in their hands. The most dazzling members of the department are certainly those handpicked by Diamond himself, the Ten Stone Hearts. With careful planning and precise calculations, they hunt down the debts owed to the IPC. But there is one stone heart who stands out, who does not believe in meticulous calculations. He trusts only the chips in his hand and has the guts to risk it all. He is the rising star of the strategic investment department, Aventurine! For today's episode of Keeping Up With Star Rail, Mr. Adventurine's good friend, the Intelligentsia Guild's brilliant Dr. Veritas Ratio! I wouldn't say we're friends, but he is not awful to work with compared to the rest of the fools. Not awful means outstanding in Dr. Ratio's dictionary. It's a C at best. Oh? Then let's see what our C student Adventurine is capable of. Aventurine is an imaginary character following the path of preservation. As the non-performing asset liquidation specialist of the Strategic Investment Department, his gorgeous appearance alone has debtors fleeing for their lives. I keep telling him the flashy outfits are just making his job harder. But that's all right. Because Aventurine never lets the enemy get away. Aventurine's basic attack can deal imaginary damage to a single enemy based on his defense. Running away is probably wiser than foolishly putting up a fight. Exactly! Faced with foolish enemies, Aventurine unleashes the power of the Amber Lord! Aventurine's skill provides allies with a fortified wager shield for a set number of turns. The shield is stackable up to a limit. It's worth noting, effect res will increase on an ally with fortified wager, and when the ally is attacked, Aventurine accumulates stacks of blind bet. When Aventurine has fortified wager, he can resist crowd control debuffs. However, this effect does have a cooldown. Upon reaching a certain number of blind bet stacks, Aventurine consumes the stacks to launch a follow-up attack that deals minor imaginary damage to a random enemy, bouncing a certain number of times. This combat strategy is completely illogical. Well, there's no point in teaching a gambler logic. <laughs> ah, well, when Aventurine uses his ultimate, he randomly gains a certain number of blind bet stacks and inflicts a nerve on a single enemy lasting for a fixed number of turns. He also deals imaginary damage to the enemy based on his defense. When an ally attacks an unnerved enemy, the crit damage dealt will increase. <laughs> Just seeing Blind Bat in action sends me into a cold sweat. He has a motto. Temptation is a virtue, but hesitation is fatal for gamblers. <laughs> Aventurine's technique thoroughly lives up to this motto. After Aventurine uses his technique, he will gain one of three defense boost effects, the degree of which is different for each effect. At the start of the next battle, this effect increases the defense of all allies for a certain number of turns. It's worth noting, when the technique is used again, only the effect with the highest defense boost is retained. Having skin in the game is a foolish choice. But he always comes out unscathed, so he never learns his lesson. Next, to give us a better understanding of his philosophy, Mr. Aventurine has specially provided us with a rare video. Let's take a look at these flashy moves in actual combat! He actually provided this material himself. <laughs> what a show off. After unlocking a certain trace, Aventurine provides a fortified wager shield to the entire team at the start of the battle. This shield effect is based on his skill and lasts for a fixed number of turns. <laughs> and don't forget, allies with the shield effect will accumulate blind bet stacks for Aventurine when they are attacked. Aventurine only believes in striking first. I fear his frontal lobe will never learn to wait and counterattack. Not to be outdone, the enemy immediately strikes at the team. Foolish. Attacking at this time will only make Aventurine's victory even sweeter. As expected, the enemy's endless stream of attacks do not break the sheet. And because of Aventurine's trace, March 7th, who has fortified wager, counters while accumulating blind bet stacks for Aventurine. Due to the enemy's non-stop attacks, the stacks quickly reach the number required to trigger a follow-up attack. And because of another trace's effect, Aventurine's defense increases his crit rate. 
and follow-up attacks more easily trigger crit hits. Due to this trace, when the follow-up attack to Blind Bet is triggered, it replenishes the shield effect for all allies. Your partners at the table are also part of the game. Those who understand this have already surpassed ordinary gamblers. The enemy continues to attack, but it's only increasing the number of Blind Bet stacks. Adventuring casts his skill, replenishing his shield again. He casts his ultimate, stacking up enough blind bets to trigger the follow-up attack again. The enemy is utterly destroyed without dealing any damage to the team. Adventuring's opponents think they're players at the table, but in reality, they're just chips in Adventuring's game. Dr. Ratio may have a sharp tongue, but it seems there's some mutual respect. Wait a moment. Mutual? What did he say about me? Aventurine personally asked for Dr. Ratio to be our guest today. He said, <clears throat> Perhaps only Dr. Ratio can succinctly explain my combat style. Nonsense. He's a system of chaos devoid of logic. Unintelligible. That gambler can't possibly think my mathematics are suited to this... this pinball, can he? He also said, Dr. Ratio will vigorously deny this, but if he didn't fully understand my abilities, why would he accept the invitation to come on the show? That's not... I just... I approve of this show's dedication to truth and knowledge. Nothing more. <laughs> I really can't tell what the deal is between you two. <laughs> <laughs>